Hello, welcome to a new Shellixly tutorial. Um, today I will show you maybe some features you don't know and some new features. One of the features you might not know yet is that uh, what's this feature? You get that in um, clicking uh, Shift F1 and then you can uh, just um, click somewhere and you get here uh, the complete key bindings uh, of all shortcuts uh, the program has. Um, maybe there are some more, but most of them you can find here. Usually you can just click on any um, feature and it will gi give you a short description what it does. Um, so um, here you already see there is a structure with a metal and a CP star and some other ligands around that metal atom. And you see for this met uh, to the from the metal to the non-metal atoms you see those uh, stippled bonds. Um, and maybe you don't l very much like to have five bonds to each uh, of the carbon atoms of the aromatic system. And for that, there is a rather new feature. Um, you just keep the uh, press the control key and select those uh, five atoms. And here you can just add a centroid, um, and then you have uh, a centroid atom inside of those five. Uh, atoms and those five bonds are gone then there's just the one stippled bond to the center of that uh, ring and of course you can have uh, centroids also on other aromatic rings here yes here as well and of course, this is also a aromat. It's just uh, another phenyl ring. So like that. And uh, so let's rotate this. Um, some. It's always a bit complicated to rotate such molecules in a nice way or in a nice, nice position. Uh, probably that's not too bad. Um, yeah, just save it and um, I now show you a new feature. It's called the export uh, scene to Poffray. Um, and so let's uh, save this uh, Poffray file and um, when you run this the first time, it asks you where the executable is, and um, you probably uh, know it after installation of Puffray. It's somewhere, I guess, in program files, uh, Puffray, the version number, and bin. And mm, there is no Puffray, but there is a Puffray engine 64. And let's take this one. And here we are. Uh, you see, we have um, those uh, aromatic uh, rings, and we have Q peaks, and we have the gradient, we have a legend and labels. Looks not too bad, but maybe we do not want to have the Q peaks, so we can just change that uh, after. Um, um leaving Schellixle, so we just want to have the Q peaks away, so we just type in false uh, save, we go to the ini file and type run and you see the Q peaks are gone including the uh, centroid um, atoms and the same can uh, happen um, if you want with the labels. Let's see, we are show labels, uh, draw labels. 
Um, you can also use 1 and 0 if you're lazy. That works as well. Um, as you see, this is the normal uh, default uh, resolution. You can change a different one or you just use the ini file. There you have the same resolution as uh, the Shellixle program uh, provides. Um, probably you don't uh, like to have a gradient background. That's also possible to uh, remove the background gradient. Just change this to zero and uh, probably it's a good idea to force then the background to be white. So let's save that and see we have a lot of uh, options here to play with and um, there are other features uh, of uh, Shellix layer you can uh, draw inside of the thing which is for example you can have uh, Fourier maps and so if you just do the same thing and uh, export that with maps so let's call it maps and and here we are there are the Fourier maps and of course you can also switch them later on and off uh, so the Fourier FO map and the so F, F observed map and the difference Fourier map F observed minus FC um, you can switch them off uh, individually and uh, also you can toggle off the labels and so on um, um, there is another feature we probably don't uh, know yet so let's toggle the labels uh, the, the Fourier maps off here as well and that feature could be the Voronoi polyeder. Um, if you do that, you get a polyeder which uh, has a surface uh, right in the middle of each uh, direction, uh, interatomic direction, and so um, this forms a polyhedron. And you see in the color which atom this face is, uh, is located on and you see the, that sulfur atom has its most contacts um, here at this white area to hydrogen atoms of uh, other molecules and some smaller um, uh, contacts or somehow the, the surface is related to the strength in a way uh, of the contact, so you see this uh, to a carbon where it's really bonded on, it's a larger black surface here and of course the iridium in this case is white so there's also a white large area here so that's uh, Vorene polyhedron and of course that's also possible to have such a thing inside of the Poffray uh, thing, so let's call this then oh and you see we have the Poffray thing here as well um, so um, sometimes you see it's a bit overcrowded with features and you want to have a clearer view and therefore you maybe uh, want to of course you can just remove the QPix and of course uh, you can just select some atoms so I just use control key and shift key as, uh, at the same time to select some atoms um, but now I have to this with control key pressed So just to show that thing, so maybe we want to remove the Voronoi polyeder now. So and um, so if we now do the Poffray export, um, you 
you see those selected atoms um, they do not have uh, the ADPs and it's just uh, ball and stick so I missed maybe the C13 here to select it and so you can make uh, details on those atoms you're interested in so I should have done this as well for the um, atoms of the other fender ring in the back um, so but uh, oh I know um, so that's one of those features of course you probably want to have a larger um, size of the picture and that's uh, as uh, with the screenshots you can change the screenshot resolution here and you get then this uh, size of uh, Im image if you want and the aspect ratio of course changes if you just uh, move this uh, to a ratio you like um, that's it for today I hope you liked it and um, yeah keep safe and Goodbye.